it was weird being in school because like I'm tw I was 23 years old I'm 24 now and I'm a freshman I'm Joseph Bell 24 years old I spent five years in the Marines and I'm currently a combat engineer in the National Guard I joined in July of 2017 three weeks after high school is when I went to boot camp I never saw myself going to school um, I grew up poor uh, and college just really wasn't an option on the table for me. I had two main duty stations. One was School of Infantry East, Camp Geiger, North Carolina, and then I received orders to BMM 162, Marine Medium Tilt Rotor Squadron 162, which is um, an aviation unit. And from there, we attached to the 24th Marine Expeditionary Unit for a deployment. Do you get to know someone when you sleep across from them, you work with them, you live with them, you go to the gym with them, and there's no other outside like distractions like phones or social media. You really get to know a person and who they really are and what they really stand for. You spend every waking minute with them. You get sick of them, but you also love them. I was on the 24th MU. MU stands for Marine Expeditionary Unit. It's pretty much we're on a boat with the Navy for like eight to nine months. Life on the boat was garbage. We, um, I got to get off the boat for Saudi Arabia for a mission. It was like the first uh, people to set up like a fully functioning flight line since like Desert Storm, and it was just a training exercise. It's pretty cool for a month. The full deployment was 220 days. Not that I was counting. It was it was weird. I hadn't seen my dad in a year. I hadn't seen any of my friends in in a year. I was actually. A tier one Marine, which means I was in the top 10% of performers. However, I wanted a new job, but they didn't offer me any jobs that I was interested in. So I decided to get out and I talked to a National Guard recruiter and I decided to um, transfer over to the Army. Mostly because I wanted to be back home. I wanted to be back with my, be back with my dad, my friends from home. And uh, it's an environment I'm familiar with. And it was quite the adjustment coming back. So I was able to talk to a lot of people. Made a few friends, however, like, there's a lot of, like, it's hard when you're talking to, like, a high school grad, and, like, I had just gotten back from deployment, like, eight months prior. I'm like, uh, yeah, how do I relate to this, to this dude right here? In the beginning, my main outlet was, uh, it was actually the Veterans Lounge, so they got in touch with me via, like, email. They're like, hey, you can pop out this. There's a whole Veterans Lounge orientation before the semester starts. You can meet a bunch of veterans. It's pretty funny. Um, I actually met a dude. I had just gotten out of the Marine Corps too, and he was, him and I actually enlisted at the same exact time. It helped a lot because um, I was with a group of people that had familiar, that I was familiar with. You know, there's a certain way that like people in the military talk to each other. There's a certain way like we tell each other stories. There's certain like even like lingo and words that we use that like uh, regular like civilian population wouldn't typically understand. And um, it just made that transition a little bit easier because it's like. I have this outlet where I could talk to like other veterans and we could we could understand vibe well together. There's like a stigma that service members and veterans are like these badass dudes with no feelings that uh, pretty much handle everything. However, like we all have flaws, we have feelings, we have failures that we carry and um, we have emotions.